guys, I'm the Summer Fox, and today I wanted to show you guys how to make bath bombs. If you guys are interested in purchasing this kit, there will be a link down in the description box below. So without any further ado, let's get started. This kit comes with a plastic mold with a star design, and you get coloring like purple, blue, pink, and lime. It even comes with its own fragrance. This fragrance is called Sweet Margarita, Cornstarch, and a Citric Acid. Start off by cutting your mold into six parts and set it aside for later. So first you're just going to pour your cornstarch into a bowl and you're just going to beat it up until you see that there's no more clumps left. And then you're going to add your fragrance. I wanted to experiment with some soap fragrance. I'm using mango, but you guys can use whatever you want. And you're going to divide your cornstarch into six parts. And you're also going to do the same for your acidric acid. Now to add your coloring, I just put it into a different cup. And I'm also experimenting with the color a little bit. I just added some food coloring to some of the mixture, which is why some of it's yellow. And then you're just going to take your acidic acid from earlier, and you're just going to incorporate that in your cornstarch mixture. Next, you're going to add a teaspoon of water to your mixture and it's supposed to have the consistency of wet sand. Once you have your mixture all ready to go, you're just, you're just going to take one half of your mold and you're going to pack your cornstarch mixture into each side of the mold. Once I was done with that, I just secured the corners with some clothespins and I set it to dry overnight. It's alright, no need to threat, it's just a little bit of trial and error. So for this bath bomb, I wanted to go for a bit of a stripey effect. I just added some of the lightly colored mixture to the bottom of the mold and I switched it off with a darker color and I just kept doing that on and on until I got a really cool stripey effect. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see if this came out any better. Surprise, surprise, it didn't. I'm going to try coating the mold with a little bit of Dawn and see if that'll work. Apparently this one didn't want to work either. I'm starting to understand why Rob curses in pretty much all of his videos. But you know how the old saying goes, when life gives you lemons, use a silicone mold. I just decided to use this heart-shaped silicone mold to see if I'll have an easier time popping the pieces out. To somewhat save the remnants of what I had before, I just crushed up some of the failed bath bombs and I added that to a heart-shaped mold. And then I just put some white cornstarch mixture stuff on top of it and I just patted that down. 
and I left it to dry overnight. Overall, you guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And overall, I highly recommend if you guys buy this kit that you use a silicone mold with it. But who knows, maybe you guys will have an easier time popping your bath bombs out of the mold than I did. Bye!